everyone, Joe here. Well, it looks like some photos of the new Canon PowerShot G5X and G9X have made it onto the web, and the photos look pretty legit to me. I'm pretty confident that these will be the final cameras, and I really wanted to share this with everybody, so let's hop over here to the computer and take a look at these two new cameras. Okay, everyone. Well, I got the information here of digicane-info.com, which is digital camera info. I'll put the link down the bottom. Now, it's a Japanese site, so most stuff's in Japanese. I had to convert it over to English. But just looking at the, the G5, the G9X specs and stuff here, the G5X uh, got the one inch uh, back illuminated 20.2 megapixel sensor. The lens, uh, which is just a fixed lens camera now, this lens doesn't come off, is 8.8 .8 to 36.8 millimeter. Uh, in terms, it's a 24 to 100 millimeter. And it's got an aperture of f1.8, 2.8, which is pretty decent, but don't expect you know, real heavy uh, and you know, blur anything because it being a much smaller sensor and everything. Uh, but the size here says 112 millimeter by 76 millimeter by 44. I don't know what to compare that to, but looking at the specs and stuff on the G5X, you know, this camera looks really professional looking. And uh, I am so digging the look of this uh, camera and everything. Now they got the G9X specs, pretty much the same. The lens is a 10.2 to 36. It's about a 28 to 55 millimeter uh, f2 to 4.9. Really don't like that aperture, and the focal range is you know is very limiting at 28 to 55. It's going to be very limiting. Uh, although I do expect them to have digital uh, zoom, and it is a little bit smaller at 98 millimeter, but 58 millimeter, or 31 millimeter. Uh, again, I wish I had that in inches, but and the weight is a little bit lighter too at 200.9 grams. And they both got a uh, the LCD monitors is a hundred uh, 1.04 million dots. Yeah. From looking at them here, the the G9X and the G5X both are just completely beautiful cameras. And I pretty much believe this is you know the actual photos because these look very very nice. And obviously these are not photoshops or anything. So just looking at it. The G9X, man, that, that is a beautiful looking camera. G5X also looks very nice. Wish we had more information uh, about the cameras, uh, more in, you know information about them in general. Uh, but these are some really nice power shot looking cameras. I am so loving this G5X that I'm just looking at it, I've already fell in love. Now, the one thing you'll notice, a big difference between the two uh, is the G, uh, uh, G5X has a actual uh, viewfinder on top. Now, I don't know if that's electronic. I'm guessing it more likely is because this is a mirrorless camera, so that's more likely an electronic viewfinder. Don't quote me 100% on that, but that would be my first assumption. And obviously, we do not have one on the G9X here, which, to be quite honest, I uh, wouldn't be missing it. You know, that's... More likely, the G9X is made up, you know, real more more compact design, but still professional looking. And uh, the G5X is for somebody who really, really wants to get into, a, you know, photography, but doesn't want to mess with DSLRs or anything of that nature, or just interchangeable lens cameras. So this right would make a perfect gift from some for somebody. And since Christmas is coming up, don't count me out. You know, y'all want to send me this camera? I'll take it. Now, like I said, we don't have information on price or availability yet. Uh, there'll probably be some more specs and stuff coming out here pretty soon. But I thought I want to pass along this information about these two new uh, wonderful-looking cameras. So, that's it, everyone. Hey, everyone. Well, I hope you like this. I hope those are very interesting to you. But if you like the video, how about a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, you know, be sure to subscribe. It's free. It's for you. And let you know when I release more videos. And until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.